Okay. I am so done with this man. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Hmm. Hmm. Just waking up, kind of. It's been a little bit. So, as you saw in the title, yes, we're going to talk about being in the bed. So, last night, he fell asleep with the candy bag on the bed. Um, Almond Kisses is the favorite of his right now. And I said to him, you gotta stop eating in this bed because last time they got all over the place, they got stepped on because they fell over, and now look. It looks like somebody shit, it looks like somebody shit in my bed. Yeah, now hopefully I can wash it and get it out. When is he going to learn? I can't. I can't. Now I'm going to have to take everything off and rewash my sheets. I told him last time. I just told him last night. I said, here, take this bag, put it over there, make sure everything's off the bed. Because, of course, there was one lonely Almond's Hershey Kiss left in the bed and we slept on it. Comment below, does your husband do things that really aggravate you sometimes? I know there's going to be a lot. What is your pet peeve? Not to throw, not that I want to throw our husbands under the bus, but right now. I think I'm just mad because I said this last night. And I was for sure, you know, it was dark. You know what I'm saying? It was dark, so I couldn't. I tried to make sure that none of the damn candy was on the bed. So, comment below. What is a pet peeve of yours that you have about your husband? Yeah. Mine is eating in the bed. Mmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, I started. Sharding. It was a shark, guys. My bad. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you last night? Well, that's what did why I, I go to bed naked, so I don't shard on my underwear. <laughs> what did I say last night? Let me shit the that bed. That sucks, bro. How so that now, happen? what you mean how that happened? I'm like perfect and you shit. You eat in your sleep. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty perfect. Bro. I'm thinking that was you. That, that looks like Melissa Doodle. Yeah, okay. It tastes like Melissa Doodle, too. You ate it? Yeah, it's a little piece of yeah. my little piece. No. No. <laughs> I hope this comes out. Oh, You're banned. No, you can't ban the oh, man. No you longer. can't ban the man. I'm banning you from eating them damn chocolates in my bed. <laughs> You're messing up my video. <laughs> are you white? What a jerk. George, are you white? Are you a white boy? Yeah. You sure? She got the glasses on. I'm yeah. What you doing? I'm they they, they get paid every, every two weeks somewhere? Where? Every week? Yeah. Okay, so clothes are done. Get out of here, hater. I'm not a hater. I just care about my Georgie. Whatever. Let's see, did it come out? Did Daddy's Dookie stain come out? Daddy Dookie stain? Did his doo doo stain come out? Did his doo doo stain Yo. come out of, out of the blanket? No, Who? No. Nah, it's not calling me. Who? The dog? It's outside? Is she yeah, outside? Oh, we don't work with that much. She's on the back porch. Get off of me! It looks like it came out, guys. You lucky, Kilo. Your cocky stain came out. Yay. A little no, left. Again. There's a little bit left there. I got my food. Lady, go get her. 
Please. Come on. These guys just don't know. They don't know. He wants to play with me. He wants to keep messing with me. Alright, so what is this bird? He just wants to keep messing with me. All day. I said we have some. I don't know. A, a burger that George bought. A big one? He's giving it to you. But we have we have some burgers from last night too. I didn't even need these pizza things. Yeah, I know. You think I'm playing with you? Oh! oh. See? What's bothering you thing? I gotta make, I gotta, um... He's testing me. He thinks I'm playing with him. I hurt myself. How did I hurt myself? Did you hit me? I blocked you and I punched you. Yeah, he, he punched me and my whole arm is numb now. Kiss it. <laughs> Nobody said that after I whooped ass, my body would need to hurt. You know? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't resort to um, physical violence, Lelo. So how about you stop testing me? Today is definitely a day The sheet that I'm drying with the rest I'm gonna put it on and I'm doing the actual blanket right now and through all of this I still haven't gotten to watch Stranger Things so I think I'm gonna put that on right now I still didn't eat lunch it's currently four o'clock I ate breakfast I ate a yogurt I ate a yogurt and some melon for real I don't and, and a lot of coffee I really don't know how I how I do it like I said, I freaking, I, what is that called? I can't even think right. See? Because I need to eat. I am put. I put some hamburgers in the thing left over from last night. Fasting. I'm fasting, but by accident. And this is why my body likes to hold on to the fat. We got to do better, ladies. We got to do better. All right. Let me do this. I'm trying to find the clicker. I call it a clicker. Do you guys call it a clicker? A remote? The mo? the i don't know yeah i'm trying to find that right now so i can watch stranger things because i gotta get up on it because they're spoiling it they're spoiling it on facebook they're spoiling it let's go i'm putting it on now and, and i'm on that one all right guys here i go i stopped watching because well after the last season I know, I know, they're older, but it just seems so different to me. I like the old storyline, but I guess, you know, because they get older, they they got to grow with the kids. So, I'm on it, I'm on it. Gotta go.
no more stuff. I got me some lunch. And now I'm watching. Funny, they're all wearing them um, hoochie daddy shorts, huh? I think it's hilarious that all these new age kids think that they're doing some trend, but really, it was from the 80s, bruh. It's all from the 80s. You ain't hip, bruh. So it's like all of us old people are like, You want us to go back? You want us to go back and wear that shit? But, you know, you know how kids are. That's why when they brought the bell bottoms back, I'm like, are you kidding me? Okay, well, I I still got, I still had a couple pair of bell bottoms. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway. Just when they thought it was cool. Mmm. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's hours and hours later, and, um, actually, no, it's not. Well, yes, it is. It's, like, 7 o'clock. She is done, nice and clean, and, um, so, everybody ate, um, hamburgers and tuna salad, and they called it dinner. So, <laughs> I guess, um... Mommy ain't got to cook, or do I still have to cook? Because I don't really want to. Uh, I'd rather not. She a big old woman. Big old, big old woman. Big old, big old woman. I'm waiting on my pillow. So, I'm still waiting on my blanket and my pillowcases. Left me a Hershey kiss, uh, literally. Oh, uh, my baby got jokes. That was actually really good. It was right. That was yeah. perfect. When your husband leaves you a Hershey kiss in the bed. See, that was just my beat him. Beat him. Love you. Okay, so it is way, way later in the day. Okay, and unfortunately, I did have to cook. Because although it was 5 o'clock and everybody ate, so then at like 9 o'clock at night, he was hungry. And Angie asked what was for dinner and I said, well, it's five. it was 5 o'clock when we ate the hamburgers and um, basically that was dinner. And she was like, oh, okay, whatever, whatever, right? But not Kilo. So I proceeded to boil some chicken and make some barbecue chicken and uh, macaroni and cheese. And it was really good. And now, I think my actual blanket is finished. And I should be able to put it on my bed. I have a headache because of an unfortunate events have occurred where <sighs> you know parents are not built like they like they like they are now 
if you stand by your child, you know? I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, um, I was just checking in. They're watching um, Stranger Things, yeah. They're starting from the beginning. Kilo's starting from the beginning, which is corny to me, so I really don't really want to watch it. But I will come out here and have a little chat with you guys. So, <clears throat> you guys know the situation with Georgie, right? Yeah. We know. If you don't, I'm not going back. But anyway, um, George was staying at a hotel. Unfortunately, the, he was uh, doing side work for people. And uh, uh, those guys no longer need him. So Georgie needed to go back home. His parents did not want him home. Although Georgie has a disability and is currently uh, trying to get disability, his parents know this. They failed him. But they proceed to tell him that they don't care and that they he can go back and live in a tent. Okay, So George doesn't like to argue. George is used to being stepped on. So I said, I'm pretty sure that's against the law. He's lived there for 15 years. Mail still gets delivered there. So I tried to convince George of this because who wants to see their friend homeless, right? So I called the police station and I asked. And this is what he said. Hi, uh, officer. I just have a question. Um... So I have a good friend and uh, he is disabled and he has been living at his parents' house for 15 years. They don't want him there anymore. Legally, is he still able to go back home? Yes, if he still lives there. Yes, he does still live there. Right. He has yep. all his mail goes there. He's been living there forever. The parents get in an uproar, want him to do more and say, well, you can go live outside then. And so I think he's disabled. He can't read. He can't write. I'm sure you've probably seen him around town. Um, he has a home, and but he is willing to just go live in a tent because he feels like he has to. But now that I know that he does not have to and they would have to evict him, now I know that, you know, they can't just push him around like that. Thank you. Right. Okay. No problem. All Take right. Care. So if anything, if we, if they did call the police and you would have to come out, like, if they won't let yep. him in, I would hate to have to call for this, but if they don't let him in, I can call you back. Yeah, they, they can't just lock him out. If they do, then call us and we'll, we'll take care of it. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ready for this, George? Um, so, George didn't have the balls to tell his parents this, but I did. I called them up. I said, okay, so basically um, you really don't care if George dies is what you're saying because George, instead of calling and saying, hey, guys, you know, it's really against the law to try to kick me out. I'm really homeless. I really need to come back home. Like, he did nothing wrong. They're just weird. <sighs> he got on the phone, and this is probably a part of the disability he got on the phone and immediately did not say any of that about coming home. He immediately said, Hey mom, I'm, I'm going to come and get the tent. Can I come and get the tent? Huh? The tent? So you can go sleep outside? I'm thinking in my head. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the father said? You're not putting that tent in my yard. Didn't nobody say he was putting the tent in your freaking yard, you dumbass. Anyway, his father proceeds to say, you're, 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 um, upsetting your mother. Leave us alone. I'm upset. He's upsetting his mother because his father won't let him back in the house. So what other option does he have but to ask for a tent? <laughs> Hello? So anyway, um, I, so he gets off the phone. They tell him, do not, um, don't contact us anymore. Just leave us alone. Right? Basically. We don't care if you die, right? <laughs> so I call up and I'm like, Hi. 
I'm not going to say his name, but George is dead. So um, you don't care if George is dead or alive? Is, is that what you're telling me? To be honest, like, it's against the law to throw him out and he can legally go back home. Like, I just, need, I just needed them to know that. You know, because it's like they're dangling George by a thread. And they always done that. So, I said that. And I said, well, that's what a policeman told me. And um, I know the officer's name. I got the officer's name and everything. This is what he told me. It's against the law. I said, so, well, you guys heard the, the, video, the voice recording. Of course, when they tell the story, it's different. They tell the story like... She didn't even give the officer's name. Um, I know the officer's name. I made sure I knew the officer's name. I said it back to him. So anyway, um, I call him and tell him that. He proceeds to say, well, I'm going to get a lawyer so I can block you. Or something like that. No, 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 no. I said, I called the cops. And he said something like, mind your fucking business, right? Well, George is our business. George is our friend. We care about George. Maybe you don't care about George. Anyway, he hangs up the phone. He calls me back. I said, I knew I should have blocked you. He said, well, I'm getting a lawyer and I'm going to block you. <laughs> Click, block, right? They called me back from his mother's phone. I do not answer. I'm like, let them, let them keep freaking calling me so I can file harassment. I'll fucking file harassment on their asses. They think that they can just treat their son like that after they failed him for, for almost 50 years. They're just going to kick him out like that. Like, they don't give a fuck. Um, so they kept calling. One time they called, I messaged them. Stop calling me, right? Because that's by law. You got to message them. If you don't know this, somebody's harassing you and you don't tell them in a message, stop calling me. It's not considered harassment. I guess. I don't know. That's what I heard. So I put stop calling me. They called again. Then they must have received the message. They haven't called. Then they called George. George didn't answer either. I said, yeah, that's right, George. They thought before they thought that they had you dangling, right? Now you got them dangling. Keep them dangling, George. Keep them dangling because they're wondering if you're going to show up there with the police officer to go inside your house. Little do they know, no, George is too scared to do that. But I feel like I just want to go there. I just want to go there with the cops. Just so they know if he wanted to, he really fucking could. Just so mean. So mean. And then they're like, they leave a message, but they let, they let, um, they let it play so you hear their conversation in the background and you hear them talking about and he can't come with us to the um to the senior center didn't nobody talk about George going with them to the senior center that they swear they're gonna be going to they ain't going they just applied nobody said that but George is allowed in his house he still gets mail there and his father said George hasn't been here for four months what George was in the hotel for three weeks. He still got mail there. He, George just got mail back from there, from last week. He still lives there, technically. Anyway, I went through all that shit. All that fucking shit. It didn't do shit. It didn't do nothing. But it made me feel good letting them know that we spoke to the authority. Sometimes you got to do that. I ain't a cop caller, but I'll call and ask a question. I didn't get my name. I didn't get nobody's name. All I did was call and ask a simple question. I wanted to know what was the law, and I recorded it too. So that if I have to send it to them to prove it, because obviously I need to prove it, they think I'm lying. They think I'm lying that I didn't call. Why wouldn't I fucking call? It's my friend. I just don't understand some parents. How are you just going to abandon your disabled son? Like, Anyway, guys, that was my rant. That was my day. I said I was going to be complaining all day, but that shit had me fuming. I had a headache and everything, and then I had to cook. Anyway. So, by the way, George did find some side work. Because he's also trying to stay out of jail for child support too. 
which I think once the the brain doctor comes through and shows that he has multiple disabilities, I think he'll be fine. He'll be okay. Damn. It was like so many times, you know, the father was like, I'll send you back for no apparent reason. Just because George wasn't there. He was here. They want him there. Um, so how many times they, that George's father says, you could, I'll just send you back to the river. Homeless. His father would threaten him to send him back to the river. All the time, it was illegal. George never had to leave. George never had to live at the, at the river and be homeless. <sighs> anyway, I needed to vent. I really needed to vent. So, I'm glad you guys are there to hear me then. I really do have a tension headache. Anyway, I'm about to put my my bedspread on my bed, my pillowcases on my pillows, and call it a night. But until the next video, I love you mucho, and I will catch you on the flip side. It's about 11 o'clock and this is the end of the video. I hope everybody had a great day despite all the bitching and moaning that we do. You know, life is good regardless. Anyway, now I'm going to finish watching Stranger Things.